Hi all. Welcome to another interesting session of WSO2 Identity in 15. Today we are going to introduce Google OneTab for WSO2 Identity Server. I am Indivari Vichesuri, currently working as an Associate Technical Lead at WSO2. Google OneTap is a personalized authentication option provided by Google. When a browser has an authenticated Google session, a personalized sign-in or sign-up button will appear instead of the generic Google sign-in button. Let's see how a Google OneTap sign personalized sign-in button looks. As you can see, I have already logged into a Google account. The Google provided profile picture name and the email address will appear on the Google OneTap sign in button. I just have to do a single tap to sign into our Asgardia website now. This will be even more easier when you are going to register into a web application. You don't have to fill any form or keep remembering things, you just want to do a single tap. To register to a website. So as a user I just have to have an active Google or Gmail session to enable Google OneTap. Now let me show you how we can configure Google OneTap for our web application as web developers. For this as the first step, we have to have a Google client set up. So I have created this project in Google Clouds Console. Under the project, I should create credential. For this particular feature, Google OneTap, we should create an OAuth client ID. I'm selecting web application as the application type. And I want to highlight these two mandatory fields, Authorize JavaScript Origins and Authorize Redirect URIs. We should not miss this field. Authorize JavaScript Origin is where our OneTap UI will appear. For today's example, as I am using WSO2 Identity Server as my authentication partner, my UI will appear on the authentication portal. Since I have hosted WSO2 Identity Server in locally, this is my authorized JavaScript origin. The authorized redirect URI is the URI to where Google should send the authenticated JWT. For this example, it's the common auth URL of my locally hosted WSO2 Identity Server. Once I configure this information, I should have to have a web application up and running. Today, I'm going to use my locally hosted Pickup Dispatch website. If you don't have a web application, you can download a sample web application from our repository here. You can download this Pickup Dispatch Vo and do some small configuration of the dispatch properties inside this web in classes path. We should provide the consumer key and the consumer secret to enable this web application. I'll show you how we can obtain the consumer key and the consumer secret. This is my locally hosted WSO2 identity server up and running. And there I have configured pickup dispatch. Under that I have configured OAuth configuration under inbound authentication configuration. Once I configured this, I can obtain this OAuth client ID and the OAuth client secret. You can copy and paste this value to the dispatch properties and restart the Tomcat server. And now we have to enable Google OneTap for our sample web application, Pickup Dispatch. 
To obtain that, we need to set up Google Authenticator in WSO2 Identity Server. Here is for you to configure Google Authenticator in WSO2 Identity Server. Let me show you that in summary. I have configured Google Authenticator. I'll highlight you the mandatory fields that we have to configure. Under this Google Authenticator, we have to set up Google configuration under Federated Authenticators. I enabled this Google Authenticator and added the client ID and the client secret that we received from the Google client once we configured these values and tap on create button. And then my callback URL. Finally, I enabled Google OneTap. So these are the configuration that we should do on WSO2 identity server side to enable Google one tab for our web, tab, web application. Now I'm going to log in, in to pick up dispatch. When I tap on the login button, it redirected to the authentication portal of WSO2 identity server. I have two options to log in here. One is providing username and the password, the conventional path, or the newly introduced Google OneTap. I'm using the second option. Here, I simply logged into my Pickup Dispatch website. So, as web developers, you also can adopt Google OneTap via WSO2 Identity Server very easily. So, that's all for today's discussion. Hope you enjoyed today's session. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Goodbye.